What's going on, y'all? It's Greg Rovey here at the Nice Kick Shop for this week's edition of What's New at Nice Kicks. This week, we received a select variety of certain shoes from different brands, some including old signature basketball models as well as new ones. So let me quit talking and let's take a look at what we got in this week. The first shoe we'll take a look at this week is a New Balance 580 in a colorway that's perfect for the summer. This shoe features a predominantly teal upper as well as hints of orange and vault to complete the look. You'll see teal detailing and suede around the toe cap, teal mesh for the toe box, the New Balance logo in orange, as well as the Volt colorway. And to finish things off, we have a white, as well as a gray and speckled orange and teal midsole. You can pick these up for 120 bucks. Moving on from New Balance, let's take a look at the two new arrivals we got from the Ewing brand. Here we have the Ewing wrap in the NYX home jersey colorway. The shoe features white leather for the upper, as well as hints of royal blue neoprene throughout the shoe as well as blue mesh along the ankle collar, an orange lining for the shoe, Ewing brand here, as well as a blue and orange midsole. We also received the second colorway of the Ewing wrap, which features a black new buck material for the upper, silver neoprene material, as well as hints of teal and orange. This shoe is finished off with a black, orange, and teal midsole and can be picked up in either colorway for 110 bucks. Now let's take a look at the two new arrivals that we got in this week from Adidas. This week from Adidas, we got in the Crazy 2. This model was actually Kobe Bryant's third signature shoe with Adidas. Here we have it in the black and silver colorway. You'll see black leather, as well as black mesh material for the upper, as well as the 3M piping along the shoe, as well as on the back. You'll see the midsole comes up for added support around the foot, as well as the neoprene collar for that lockdown feel. Also along with Adidas, we have the Crazy 2 in the purple and white colorway. Similar to the black version, it's covered in all purple with purple leather here, as well as purple mesh on the mid foot with the white three stripes logo as an underlay, a white mesh tongue, as well as the black collar lining and black neoprene support. You can have your choice of either colorway of the Adidas Crazy 2 for 100 bucks. Now that we're done with Adidas, let's take a look at what Nike has to offer this week. Transitioning from one signature model to the next, let's take a look at the Nike KD7. Seen here is the Nike KD7 in the USA colorway. This is actually the first colorway that's released to the general public. This shoe features white mesh material for the forefront of the shoe as well as red fly wire as an underlay, a navy and red Nike swoosh, white foam posit material is seen for the back, a red heel counter encasing the Nike Zoom air unit, a navy blue rubber midfoot strap, which features his new logo, the 35, as well as the seven in the middle. The tongue is featuring the red KD branding here. And the back also features a navy and red Nike swoosh. You can pick these up for 150 bucks. Sticking with the USA theme, this Air Force One Low uses a printed material for the midfoot as well as the toe cap, which features a navy blue background with white stars. You'll also see the printed red and white striped leather for the heel counter. This shoe features a white tumble leather Nike swoosh with a navy outline, as well as white leather for the toe panel. This shoe uses white laces, as well as a red nylon tongue with navy piping. It's finished off with a white midsole and a navy blue outsole. You can pick these up in very limited numbers for 90 bucks. To finish things off this week, we see the release of the latest colorway of the Nike Foam Posit. Seen here, using all black foam posit material for the upper with hits of white leather for the eyelids, wrapping all the way onto the heel. You'll see the classic Penny logo branding here, as well as on the tongue. This shoe also utilizes a royal blue Nike swoosh, as well as royal blue piping on the pull tab. This shoe is finished off with a blue translucent outsole, as well as black and white carbon fiber. 
you can pick these up for 230 bucks. Now that we wrapped up another episode, let's take a look at what's on my feet this week. This week, I have on the Air Jordan Future in the black and white colorway. The Future is a pretty new model, but this colorway is always a classic that you can't go wrong with. Plain, simple, black and white color blocking, and it's easy to match up with pretty much anything in my closet. As always, I appreciate you guys watching the show and keep the comment section flowing. Feel free to stay up to date with the latest and greatest of happenings at Nice Kicks by following us on all forms of social media. Our user handles are at Nice Kicks and at Shop Nice Kicks. Until next week, I'm your host, Greg Grovey. See you guys then.